What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Trey Tucker back with another reaction video. Today, we're gonna watch some news video. I want y'all to check this out. I haven't seen no America Got Talent video yet, they haven't dropped nothing new. So, without further, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna have to drop, drop some more reaction videos. I'm very interested in this video, and I want y'all to hear this video. They talking about some aliens, Ariel 51 type shit. So, just give this video a listen to ear, and make sure you give this video a like, thumbs up, and subscribe. And just, 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 just listen to this shit, and make sure you comment your thoughts. Listen to this shit. Taking the internet-fueled idea of st storming Area 51, where conspiracy theorists think the government has aliens on ice, as just clickbait. But it appears the U.S. Air Force is taking these threats seriously. National they talking about some Area 51. First of all, where the fuck is Area 51 at anyway? I think that shit is like in Arizona, but I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure at all. I don't know where Area 51 at. They say it's some damn aliens or some shit or whatever. But they actually like got proof in the video. I don't know if they just playing with us or it might be because I actually heard ever since I was little. There was kind of aliens and shit on Area 51. I don't know. Let's just keep checking out the rest of the video. Security correspondent Jennifer Griffin shows us tonight from the Pentagon. It was a joke, but one the Air Force is taking seriously. A Facebook post, an avowed fake designed to get likes, announced a plan to raid the Air Force. So they talking about a lot of people from the U.S. or across the world or whatever. If they going to invade Area 51... And the Air Force taking that serious. Like, they're going to try to... Even the people talking about they're going to outrun the bullet and shit. Hey, try your look. You know what I'm saying? Come back and tell me what the hell you just seen over there in Area 51. Air Force talking about they're going to shoot whoever go over there. But what, what I don't understand, what's so important in Area 51 that we can't go over there and see? It's something fishy about that. What's so important in Area 51 that we can't see? We can't go over there. There's some shit over there we don't know about. Trust me. Space in Nevada, known as Area 51, which has been at the center of UFO and alien conspiracy theories for decades. More than one million people have signed up for the Storm Area 51, They Can't Stop All of Us event. 1.1 million people is going over there every 51 to invade it. It's going to be so long that people will get that curiosity going to kick in and they want to see what the hell going on. And I ain't going to lie, I kind of want to see what's going on in Area 51. Why is they holding Area 51 such a big secret? Why we can't see what's going on over there? What the fuck they hiding from us? Slated for late September, in which the Post declares, we can move faster than their bullets, let's see them aliens. It's been enough to spook the Air Force, which doesn't use the term Area 51 to describe the two point. Y'all see them balls they dropping? If, if all a million people go over there and try to invade 50, Area 51, y'all just better be ready to, uh, to face them damn bombs. You know what I'm saying? See, if you go over there at Area 51 and they're trying to bomb us, to keep us out, it's some fishy going on. Some fishy. What's so important over there that we can't see? That's what I'm tripping about. I'm tripping about that shit. Y'all better wake up to the world now. Nine million acre live fire training range, the largest in the United States, located at Nellis Air Force Base in Nevada. One of the many reasons Air Force officials don't want people to trespass on the base, they are worried some might be killed. Quote, any attempt to illegally access military... He said they don't want us to trespass because they worry some might be killed. Why we get killed? Ain't no war going on. Ain't no war. Ain't no, ain't nobody fight. Ain't no war going on. So why is it so dangerous? Ain't no war. There's some shit going on that's very fishy. They keep it from us. They hide from us. Y'all stay away. Stay woke. Military installations or military training areas is dangerous. There has been renewed interest in UFO sightings since it was revealed earlier this year. The military has spent. Now what the hell that was? That's some alien type shit. Stay woke. 
$22 million to research UFOs and announced new classified guidelines for how its pilots should report them. Last month, the Navy briefed several senators on Capitol Hill about UFO encounters like this one. <laughs> from a Navy F-18 training mission four years ago off the east coast of the United States, an unidentified aerial phenomena. You have objects that are doing things, maneuvering in ways without any obvious sign of propulsion. It's not clear the 1.1 million Facebook followers who said they are going to storm Area 51 are real and not Russian bots. Brett? Jennifer Griffin at the Pentagon. Jennifer, thank you. That video right there was kind of short. It was like two minutes, but they trying to hide some shit over there on every fifty one for us. Why we can't? Why? Why it's so important that we can't go over there and see? Ain't no war going on, so how is it dangerous if we go over there? Why they hide from us? That don't sound fishy to y'all. I'm not just gonna necessarily say it's some aliens. I'm not gonna, like I'm one of the people that don't believe in aliens, but it's some shit over there that we, that they don't want us to see. It really is. They hiding it and got the military guarding it. The military guarding it and they trying to hide it from us. Y'all stay woke. I'm ready for some America Got Talent videos for, so they can drop some new videos and I'm ready to react to them. So without further, with, uh, just, I just can't wait on them. I'm always going to give y'all some reaction videos. That's why it's so important for y'all to comment so, so I can see what, what can I react to next. So make sure you give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back tomorrow with another reaction video. Stay woke.